हेलो गाइस, आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड आई एम विशाली की कान एंड वी आर डिस्कसिंग द ऑप्टिकल कम्युनिकेशन टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द स्ट्रक्चर्स फॉर द इंडियम गैलियम आर्सनाइड ए सो व्हाट आर द इंडियम गैलियम आर्सनाइड ए व्हाट आर द डिफरेंट स्ट्रक्चर्स दे हैव वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक इन डिटेल अबाउट द टू स्ट्रक्चर्स फर्स्ट स्ट्रक्चर इज कॉल्ड द सैम एस एम ए पी डी कन्फिग्रेशन एंड द सेकेंड स्ट्रक्चर इज द सुपर लैटिस स्ट्रक्चर सो इन बोथ ऑफ दैम वॉट इज द डिफरेंस वॉट इज द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ बोथ ऑफ दैम वी आर गोइंग टू सी इन दिस वीडियो इट सेल्फ सो लेट्स स्टार्ट आर डिस्कशन विद द सैम ए पी डी कन्फिग्रेशन वाई इट इज कॉल्ड सैम वी हैव द सेपरेट एब्जॉर्बन एंड द मल्टीप्लीकेशन मटीरियल so it is also called as separate absorption and multiplication apd configuration apd i hope you know avalanche photo diode so now here this is the structure of the sam apd here we have the metal contact and at the upper end we have the indium phosphide substrate the light is falling on the indium phosphide substrate right below which we have the indium phosphide buffer layer right so this is just a same material buffer layer we have used and after that we have the absorption layer absorption layer is of indium gallium arsenide and then we have the multiplication layer which is of indium phosphide so you can see we have the indium phosphide indium phosphide indium gallium arsenide then again indium phosphide layer so this is how we have the structure of sam apds so now we have the different materials which are used for absorption and the multiplication region here for the absorption region we have used the indium gallium arsenide and for the multiplication we have used the indium phosphide right so this is how we can differentiate among the both of them so we have a separate material for the absorption only and no multiplication will be happening here indium phosphide is used for the multiplication because of its special characteristics for the electric field which can be present inside it so we are going to talk in detail about it so like light is entering in the indium phosphide substrate now the indium phosphide substrate is having a very high band gap right so the band gap if it is very high it would be very difficult to generate the electron hole pair over there by breaking the covalent bond covalent bond are so tight that the band gap is so high when the covalent bond is so tight and the band gap is much higher in that case i won't be generating easily the electron hole pair so in this region in the indium phosphide substrate and the indium phosphide buffer layer we are not generating the electron hole pair right whereas if the light is moving below in the indium gallium arsenide indium gallium arsenide will be having the generation of the electron hole pair because here the band gap is not that high if i am using very high wavelength uh, light then also we can generate the electron hole pair over here but on the other hand it was not possible for the indium phosphide now here we have generated the electron hole pair so we have a lot of carriers over here again they are going to move with the drift velocity towards the indium phosphide multiplication layer now the indium phosphide is used as a multiplication region and it is the gain region also we call we can call the multiplication region as a gain region and we know in the gain region we require a higher electric field so the electric field sh here should be very high and the indium phosphide has a property that high electric field can exist in it without having the tunneling break breakdown so a lot of materials have the problem of having the tunneling breakdown due to which we cannot generate a very high electric field in that materials but here in the indian phosphide we can generate a very high electric field and due to which the gain it is called as the gain region now what are the variations of the sam structure we can have various numerous variations in this structure as well right we can use the different layers we can use the different structures inside this first we can use the grading layer in between the absorption and the multiplication region here in between absorption and multiplication region we have used the grading layer 
now why we have used it so to increase the response time also to increase the bandwidth so if i use the grading layer in between the absorption and the multiplication region the response time as well as bandwidth is going to enhance after that we can use the charging layer the charge layer is going to provide the better control of the electric field profile why we want the better control of the electric field profile here i want a very high electric field and here the electric field should not be very high so i need to control this profile and the charge layer will be able to do that right we will be having a better controllability over this profile now the resonant cavity so the resonant cavity is going to decouple the optical and the electrical path length so it is going to have the decoupling effect and due to which we are going to get the better efficiency right so and we will be having the wider bandwidths as well so if i have the resonant cavity also in this structure we are going to get the better efficiency as well as wider bandwidth so i hope you understood basically we had the different material for the absorption the multiplication layer we can use a grading layer we can use a charge layer also we can use a resonant cavity so these are the three variants of the sam structure after that we have the super lattice structure in the super lattice structure as the name suggests we are using a lot of layers right so here the multiplication region is around 250 nanometer thick we are using the 30 Thirteen layers of indium, gallium, aluminium, arsenide for the quantum well, and the quantum well is separated by indium, aluminium, arsenide barrier layer as well. So, thirteen layers are used here for the quantum well formation. And why we are making it so bulky? We are making it twenty-five nanometer thick. Why? To increase the speed. The sensitivity of the indium gallium arsenide avalanche photodiodes. So now coming to the application, it is used in a long distance communication. It's going to give me a very high speed like 10 GB per second for a long distance communication as well. So like it can be used in SONET OC192 and SDH STM64 links. So these are the various uh, topics that I have covered in the unit 4. So I hope you all have got all of the topics that I have covered. If you have any doubt regarding any of the topic, you can put the doubt in the comment and I will be trying to resolve your doubt as soon as possible. I hope you like this session. If you like it, please push the like button, subscribe to the channel, share it with your friends and please give me your feedback as well. Thank you so much.